Okay, it's Monday morning and uh, we have our usual emergencies. Um, I will just give this client credit. She is the only client ever out of the 20 plus thousand animals in the walls out there that has ever not found me on the weekend through Facebook or YouTube or Google or anything else. So um, I, I haven't said that out loud. No, I know I've just cursed myself. But anyway, just making sure she has options. <laughs> um, you can actually see the tail bobbing there. Okay, not much, but because uh, she's sitting down, but it was actually quite worse. Um, she has not made any noises for several days. When they brought me uh, um, the samples of Pico, uh, if you look down, there's three layers of uh, paper down there, and actually had a sample from each individual layer. In my 18 years, it's the first time I've ever put on my CSI hat and uh, and actually watch a disease progression through the last 48 hours over a uh, over stool samples. So anyway, that was kind of cool. So I actually took pictures of the microscope and the slide and. So, uh, you know, for you vet students and future vet wannabes, um, that's just one of those neat little tricks that I've done today for the first time. I have opted not to stress this bird out anymore and grab them and uh, catch them up and do some more diagnostics like uh, um, getting a closer look at the coinal slit and that type of thing. I've often found that uh, the less dyspneic birds and respiratory tract cases that I, uh, I torment, the longer they live and the better doctor I become. So anyway, uh, they have, uh, um, oh, that was Monday morning. I need a cup of coffee. <laughs> they have instructions to go home with some antibiotics. They have instructions to get a heat lamp for this guy because one of the roommates wants to keep the house very, very cold. Um, they uh, have, uh, so we're going to heat the place up, make it look better. There's our first needs that I've seen so far. Bless you. Bless you. Oh. And you can actually hear the, hear the wheezing. Not good. That's scary. That's not a healthy bird. Okay. All right. So uh, hopefully we'll see a major improvement in the next 24 more hours. Uh, the antibiotic is usually, at this point in time, I can put a number on it. We're probably doing about 80% effective or 80% chance it will actually uh, hurt this organism right off the bat. But back to the fecal samples. It's really interesting, the first sample showed that we actually had a, a full-blown colitis with actually a tiny bit of blood in the stool sample. The second one, which I'm guessing is about a few other hours later, anywhere from 12 to 24, actually had a lot of, uh, of um, rods, you know, rods, cocci. And then as of today's sample that I pulled just under ether, you can actually tell that it's not just cocci, it is actually a streptococcal organism. So uh, again, the antibiotics are about 80% effective. Um, good broad spectrum, easy to use, and should not stress the bird out too much as long as we're drinking. And I expect to hear some improvement by tomorrow. Okay, if not, let's let's recheck, right? Okay. And just recheck scary too, but we'll, we'll do what we can. Yeah. All right? Okay, that's three minutes of bird speak and me talking without coffee. Love it! <clears throat>